Hello guys, today I am going to show you guys how to make a portal gun in Unity. Just a quick note, this is part 3 of the how to create a portal gun using Unity. And if you are new and don't know where to start with, click on the video in the top right corner or go to the description down below. First, let's create a portal game object which can create. Uh, so right click at the hierarchy, hit 3D object and create a capsule. Let's change the name to portal and let's set the transform of our portal to 0 0.1, 1.25, and 1.4 so we have a kind of flat portal like this then let's create a empty game object named portals with an s so that's where we will store our portal gun clone now i'm just gonna hide this away so we cannot see it. Now let's create a script called portal. So right click at the assets, create and C sharp script. Now let's name this portal. Let's wait for it to load a little bit and then double click to open it. First, let's delete the start method and create a variable named tp, tp cooldown, so integer tp cool down let's set it to 1.5 or just one integer one second and now let's come back to our portal gun script and add a static boolean variable so right here you add static public bool so we want to name our variable tp and set it to true and also a variable name portal count so static public integer portal count equals zero and the final thing is a public and static game object of a of our portal so in and just name it static so it will be different from the previous one and to actually create a portal you need to go to our bullet script and then add a collision variable wait no increase our portal gun by portal count by one so let's say portal gun dot portal count plus equal one which means it increased by one and then create a clone of the portal using portal let's say game object portal clone equal instantiate and let's type portal gun dot portal which is the previous let's go back to our program script portal gun portal static okay and we want to create at transform dot position now let's go back to our portal script and in the update method print type if portal dot portal count and just before that i forgot to create the tag for it so let's add the number one tag and number two tag okay and portal count wait portal okay portal count is bigger and greater than two and tag of this game objects is equal to one wait let's change this to the okay wait let's see Let's retab it. This is portal gun. What portal counts? And tag me to be a string. Alright. And let's also put in else if statement. So else if. Let's copy this but change the number one to number two. So 
we want to destroy this game object so we don't want our uh, portal count to be greater than 2 and we also want to minus the portal count, portal count by 1 and let's do this in both place okay so now let's test it So as you can see, there's no more than two portal. It's just gonna de destroy the previous portal. Okay. Now let's create a method called on trigger stay. Wait on yeah on trigger stay. And we also want to change our portal to is trigger equal on and on trigger stay we want to so if collider or other dot name equal player body then we want to loop through our portal's game object parent. So for integer e to equal zero, i smaller than portal program dot portal statics with an s and i plus plus. And we want to create. Let's add it. Transform that sharp count. Okay, now so let's just put an other portal game object up here. So game object other portal will be equal to null for now. So if this tag of this game object is equal to one and portal gun dot portal static dot get child dot transform dot get child get child zero no get child dot i dot tag is equal to two then we want to other portal or equal to this and change the tag to game object and else if let's copy this condition and change this from two and this to one and also repeat the same thing all right and if other portal so if we if we can find the other portal then we want to other which is no not other portal other dot parent dot game object dot transform dot parent dot transform dot position and equal to our other portal dot transform dot position. So the the other here is the, our player body, and if you can see from here, our player body parent is our first person player. So this is means that we TP our first person player to the other portal. Dot Okay, let's save it. I forgot to save. And now if we run the program, it should be working. Alright, the second portal. And as you can see, we are rapidly TPing through the portal. And to fix this, we need to use our TP cooldown. So let's create a IE enumerator. Let's say TP 
timer. And here, let's type yield and return. You wait for seconds. And this command will wait for the amount of seconds in our bracket. And here we want to TP cool down. And let's use our TP variable we create from the start. So we need to TP and, and which is this syntax and portal gun dot TP equal true and after the TP we want it to be equal to false so equal to false and after the timer we want to set it to true again so before that we need to use the timer so let's say start protein TP timer. So in the portal gun script, let's create a static public bool variable name one. And in our bullet script, type if portal gun dot one. So we will change our portal clone dot tag to one and set it to false. And else the portal clone will tag two and set it to true. So these codes will Make so that the first portal is 1, the second portal is 2, and the third portal is back to 1. So here's the final results. And you can also create new maps using Unity and play around with the portal gun with it. And yeah. This is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.